today we are going to discuss about the difference between response dot redirect and server dot transfer let's consider the first difference when server dot transfer is used the redirection is done by the server itself hence there is not having any round trip when server dot transfer is used but when response dot redirect is used the redirection is done by the client browser Hence, there is having round trip when response to redirect is used. Let's start with a simple example here. Suppose we have two pages, test1 and test2.aspx. We want to navigate from test1 to test2 using server.transfer and response.redirect. First of all, we are using server.transfer. We want to navigate from test1 to test2.aspx. Let's consider the network side here. If we click the submit button, you can see there is a post request from test1.aspx to the server and the server status will be http200. After that, the server will render test2.aspx from the server. We should consider that this redirection is done by the server itself. As you can see in this diagram, the browser sent the first post request to the server and the server status will be 200. After that, test2.aspx will be rendered back to the browser from the server. Let's use response.redirect for navigation from test1 to test2.aspx. If you run the application, you can see I want to navigate from test1 to test2.aspx. If you click the submit button here on the network side, you can see first of all from test1.aspx there is a post request to the server. Here the server status will be HTTP 3.0.2. And the server says to the browser that you need to redirect to the page test2.aspx. Hence, the browser again sent one request to the server for getting test2.aspx. The server status will be HTTP 200. After that, test2.aspx will be rendered back to the browser. Here, you can see on the diagram that the browser sent one post request from test1.aspx to the server and the server status will be HTTP 3.0.2. Thereby, the server gives the control to the browser for navigating from test1 to test2.aspx. After that, the browser sent another request for getting the test2.aspx to the server. Now, the server status will be HTTP 200 and the test2.aspx will be rendered back to the browser. This is the life cycle of response.redirect. Let's consider the second difference between the server.transfer and the response.redirect. If server.transfer is used, we can navigate to a page which received inside the same server. If the page is outside the server, we cannot navigate. But when response.redirect is used, we can navigate to a page which receives inside and outside the server. As you can see in this example, we want to navigate from test1 to test2.aspx using response.redirect. If you run this application, when the submit button is clicked from test1.aspx, we will be redirected to test2.aspx. Again, we want to navigate from test1.aspx to a page which is outside the server. For example, we want to navigate to google.com. Here we are using response.redirect. From test1.aspx, when we click the submit button, we will be redirected to google.com. But let's consider we are using server.transfer for navigating to a page which resides outside the server, for example google.com. Let's see the result. When we click the submit button from test1.aspx, you can see we will be redirected to one error page saying that invalid path for child request to google.com. Thereby, we cannot navigate to a page which resides outside the server using server.transfer. If we want to navigate to a page which resides outside the server, we should use response.redirect. Let's consider the third difference between server.transfer and response.redirect. That is, when we use server.transfer and navigating from test1 to test2.aspx, if we click the submit button, we can see the test2.aspx is rendered but the URL remains the same as test1.aspx. That means when server.transfer is used, the URL doesn't change when we navigate from one page to another page. Let's use response.redirect for navigating from test1 to test2.aspx. 
from test1.aspx when we click the submit button we can see we are redirected to test2.aspx and the url also changed to test2.aspx that's the main difference between response.redirect and server.transfer in response.redirect the url changes but in server.transfer the url doesn't change to the destination page these are the main three differences between response.redirect and server.transfer thank you guys for watching this video please visit technomark.in for more information